the limit order is the most common and very useful order. Most of the trades are performed using a limit order. The buy and sell buttons are located in the stock box. You select the type of order in the orders window. Note the different types of orders. Now we'll select the limit order. I'll use the limit order to buy stocks. I want to buy JPM stocks. I'll type in the JPM symbol and press enter. Now I can see the stock data in the stock box as well as on the chart. I'll buy 100 JPM stocks. Here is where I enter the amount. Now I'll set the limit price for the buy. The limit price is the highest price I'm willing to pay. In order to guarantee that I can execute the transaction even if the stock's price rises quickly, in the limit window I will enter a stock price that is slightly higher than the stock's currently traded price. For instance, I'll enter a limit of 3 cents and then click the buy button. The trade has been executed and you can see that I purchased 100 JPM stocks. Note that my transaction price is better than the limit price I used. De facto, the trading platform will give me the best possible price at the exact moment I click buy, even if the limit price I entered was higher. The limit order ensures the maximum price I'll pay, but if I use a limit that's too low, I may miss a trade in a stock whose price moves quickly. Traders will usually use limits of 1 to 10 cents, depending on the volatility and fluctuation in the stocks in which you trade. A quick and convenient way to enter a price limit is by clicking on the Buyers and Sellers table. When I click here on the desired price, the price will be shown in the limit window without my needing to type in the price. Another click on the price will replace the previous price with this one. Selling stocks is also usually performed using a limit order. I'll make sure that a limit order is selected, enter the limit price using the table, and if necessary, I'll add several cents using the arrow buttons, and then press the sell button. The limit order is usually the trader's default order. When I use a different order, such as the market order, I can reset the trading order back to the limit order by clicking the default button, D. You can define the default order type using config, default order, and selecting the limit order in the upper window and lower window, and then confirming with OK. A limit order for executing a short sale is performed in exactly the same way. I will now short JP Morgan. I'll select the limit order or click on default. Then I'll select the limit price for the short from the buyer's table. Add several cents using the down arrow and then press the short button. You can see that I'm now in shorting 100 JP Morgan. Closing a short transaction, i.e. buying the stocks, will usually also be performed using a limit order. I'll check that the limit order is selected. Enter the limit price based on the best price the sellers are offering right now and then press the buy button. That's the end of the lesson about how to use a limit order. Thanks for watching.